Thanks, Keith. Well, tonight we are introducing you to Nick Avery. He's an Iraq War vet suffering from a traumatic brain injury. It took 10 years for the former gunnery sergeant to be diagnosed with this invisible wound, and he's not alone. More often, men and women are coming back with these injuries that are going untreated. News Channel 3's Lauren Springer is taking a closer look at this need for care and Nick's progress through his treatment. She's live in the studio right now with part two of her special report. Lauren. Well, Aaron, we're learning more and more vets like Nick. In fact, 88% are now surviving the war. It used to be just one in two injured came home. But many of these survivors are suffering a new type of injury, invisible wounds that experts say the VA just isn't equipped to handle. He gave all to his country in that because of that, his country is giving back to him. And because of his sacrifice, he's going to be taken care of. It's been a life-changing journey for Gunnery Sergeant Nick Avery and his family over the last decade. And you could tell there was something that went on with the war that he didn't want to talk about. The struggle starting after the soldier's six-month tour in Iraq back in 2003. Avery originally diagnosed with PTSD, but it quickly became evident this was far more serious. Uh, he had issues trying to spell, uh, issues trying to do his counting, counting yeah, his counting work. Eventually, Avery was unable to care for himself. Hey, then, last May, he was diagnosed with a traumatic brain injury, his family learning he was exposed to blasts from five IEDs. I mean, you know his capabilities, and then to see where he's at, it breaks your heart. Since July, Avery has made remarkable progress, regaining some of his motor skills with one-on-one -on -one treatment at the Eisenhower Center. People don't believe them, that there's something physically wrong with them. This is not a mental health issue. As more vets survive these wars, VA facilities are becoming inundated with patients, at times unable to offer adequate care. The best way to deal with Nick was to um, tie him down into a chair. I think their uh, training and what they've seen was limited on that point of what he, Nick was dealing with. Many vets coming home with these invisible wounds. That are coming out of combat, they're high functioning, they got all their fingers and toes, and they're not letting people know how, how hard life is. Rick Briggs works with vets like Avery, making sure they get the one-on-one -on -one time they need. This huge need out there but it's not being fulfilled at the level it needs to. Telling us all soldiers returning home need to be screened for brain injuries and treated immediately. You have to be able to go in and get the, the very, very specialized treatment to retrain the undamaged portion of your brain to do what your damaged portion used to do. Avery is progressing rapidly in just a few short months here at Eisenhower, restoring his family's crushed hopes. You know, if he laughs and he smiles or he makes eye contact. Where he says, hi, mom. Hi, mom, yeah. Or, hi, just, Jilly, you know. Yeah. It just, you're just thankful. Yeah. But at the price tag of $1,000 a day, his family is worried he'll have to return back to the VA for care. I don't want to put him back in a nursing home for him to just waste away. I want him to have some meaning in his life. And a big Fight for Nick fundraiser is being held this coming Saturday to help cover the cost of his care. That'll be at the American Legion in Climax starting at 4 o'clock. Tickets are just $7 and includes the cost of dinner. Now, Michigan is the leader of brain injury rehab with more resources than 30 states combined. The Brain Injury Association of Michigan is hoping the VA will partner with the private sector, tapping on their decades of experience for treatment of our returning soldiers. They say more government funding is needed. Needed and for vets to come forward as well. Live in studio, Lauren Springer, News Channel.